got off to a late start on the stormy Texas night. I decided to sleep in and hunt in the morning, pre. But around 3.45, I started getting messages that a large lone boar was at one of the feeders that are just a few hundred yards away. I could spot him with my thermal at 150 yards. The vegetation is still very high on this property. I worked in within 80 yards and we'll pick up the action from here. One of the things about a new thermal is very difficult to predict the size of the hogs that you're shooting, especially if you're on a new property. When I was getting my game cam picks, this guy looks small, but this is easily another 200 class hog. This is my preferred shot when I'm hunting hogs right here in the interstate, as I call it. Uh, biologically, the spine is high until it gets to right about the shoulder and then it dips down like this. And with that dip down, right in this area, You've got the heart, which is right here, the lungs that are there. And a lot of times you'll see people suggest shooting them in the heart and lung, which is for archery, I do suggest that. That is a great archery shot quartering away right up into that area. But if you're using any bullet, put it right there in the neck because it hits all of that inner state where you, you'll break the spine for sure. And if that doesn't do it, you'll get all of the blood and capillaries in that area. So even using our lightest bullet, the 85 grain hammer hunter for the 6.5 Creedmoor and other 264 calibers, the shot placement anchored this 245 pound bore at a distance of 80 yards. The 85 grain hammer hunter bullet impacted this board at 3,112 feet per second, delivering 1,828 foot pounds of energy into the neck. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for future content. In my next video, I'll be testing the hardest hitting bullet out of my 6.5 Creedmoor. Hammer bullets, advanced technology, simply better.